of the Lord sitting upon a throne and he'll have, instead of a book, he'll have the world, the globe. And of course there's much symbolism in that and much meaning to that. And it reflected on that, that image of the Lord having us in his hands when uh, the two scriptures today, the first from chapter 11 of Acts and then the Gospel of John chapter 10, both refer to the hand of God. And that first one it says about the early Christians who were evangelizing, it says, the hand of the Lord was with them and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. And then the Gospel says, my sheep hear my voice and no one can take them or snatch them. Actually, the original Greeks says snatch them. No one can snatch them out of my hands, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. And so we are in the hands of God. But it's also true that no one can snatch us out of the hands of God, but we can let loose of the hand of God, or we can leap from the hand of God on our own. No one can rob us of our relationship with God, but we ourselves can be guilty of robbing ourselves of a relationship with God. An image comes to mind, and I've mentioned it before, but when I was a child, my grandfather, my father's father, lived a few houses uh, up the street. He used to take me to 9th Street to the grocery store with him. And I was a little, little child, maybe three, four, five years old, I think. And I remember so well going with him, and uh, he always held my hand, and he held it very, very tightly and very securely. I remember he had big hands. And I remembered this, the safety that I felt by having his hand wrapped around my hand. Now, I, have, I could have snatched my hand away and run off from the security and the safety that my grandfather was affording me. But I chose to keep my hand securely tucked in my grandfather's hand. That's the image, I think, of, of the hand of God that bears reflecting on. Because while no one can snatch us from the hand of God, we can pull our hand away from God's hand and try to go our own way. And that's what we call sin. Pulling ourselves out of the hand of God who wants to hold us and to keep us safe. Thinking we know better, we pull back and run away. We are in a crisis uh, mode in the world today. And insofar as evil entered the world through the sin of Adam and Eve, it bears reflecting that evils in the world uh, can be traced back. Many of the evils in the world can be traced back to, to sin. Original sin deprived us of a perfect world, a world that didn't have disease. So it was sin, our original parents, who snatched their hands away from the hand of God who wanted to keep humanity safe and secure. They snatched away their hands and sin entered the world, evil entered the world, death entered the world, pandemics entered the world. But God does not abandon us. He keeps calling out to us, take my hand, do not snatch your hand away. Examine your life. See where on occasion you have pulled back tried to walk away, carve out for yourself a future without God and without his safety. Perhaps that's what this pandemic is calling us to, recognizing how much we need God in our lives and how much we need to recognize he wants us to take his hand so that humanity may be safe and secure and healed. My sheep hear my voice. No one can snatch them out of my hand.